This is Ian Pretty from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video, I'll show you how to connect an Oric One or an Oric Atmos computer to a TV or monitor using the HDMI input. To do this, you'll need my RGB SCART lead and this low cost SCART to HDMI video converter. This is a generic unbranded model. However, branded models are available, but inside they're basically all the same. Right, let's make the connections at the computer end first. Make sure the computer and the TV or monitor are switched off. This RGB SCART lead for the Auric differs from my normal designs of SCART leads because it's a powered SCART lead. Basically, the Auric doesn't give a suitable voltage out that's needed on the SCART input to switch the TV into RGB mode. So it gets its power to do that from the power supply from the Auric. So the Auric power supply goes in to the socket on the video lead and the Auric power plug then goes into the Auric to power it. So let's connect things up. We connect the DIN plug into the video socket on the Auric. Then connect the power plug to the power in, which then just leaves the uh, power socket on the SCART lead. So we need to connect the Auric power supply, which is this plug, into that socket. Um, the Auric power plug is a 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter plug with uh, a 10 millimeter long barrel. So that needs to plug into the socket on the SCART lead. Okay, and that's the uh, computer connections done. We then need to connect the SCART plug to the SCART input on the video converter. We then need to connect a HDMI video lead from the TV, which is already connected on this one. And then the other end needs to go into the HDMI output on the converter. Okay, then we need to then put some power into the converter. So connect the power lead. Next switch the TV on and select the HDMI input. Just knock that light out a set while we do that. We can hopefully see it a bit better. Okay, the uh, HDMI needs to be selected, which it already is on this one, but uh, it's normally just labelled up as HDMI on most TVs. Next, switch the power to the uh, video converter on, and hopefully we should see a status box pop up down here somewhere. There we go. As you can see at the moment, the source says SCART, which is correct. That's the SCART input to the video converter. However, if you don't see that box, then you just need to press the SCART HD button, which toddles between SCART and HDMI input. As you can see now, it says HDMI. So press the SCART HD button until it says SCART on the, the status box, which it does. The resolution, which you can see at the bottom, is um, full HD or 1080p, which is correct for this monitor. You'll need to select the correct resolution for your screen if it's not 1080p. If you press the 720p, 1080p button, it toddles through all the available resolutions for your monitor or TV. So go through those and find the best one that matches your monitor. Right, so we've got that connected. Now we need to switch the Oricon, which I've just done. And as you can see, it's now picked up a PAL signal, which is correct. And we have the Oric uh, screen there. 
The status box, this appears on its own. It varies from converter to converter. Sometimes it's a few seconds, sometimes it takes quite a bit longer. Bit annoying, but there's nothing you can do about it. It's just popped away there. Right, so that's basically it. We're all up and connected. I'll uh, just swap over to another Auric, which has already got a game loaded because I'm sure you don't want to uh, sit here listening to me rabbit on for a couple of minutes while we load a game. So I shall just swap that over. So now we've got uh, another Auric that's already got a game loaded up. And basically just get an idea of the uh, the picture. Just switch that light out so you can see that better. You should get um, a nice clear steady colour picture uh, with, uh, with vivid colours. The colours you're seeing now are a little bit paler on this. That's just the way the the video cameras interpreting it but normally um, you get slightly bit more vivid colors on the TV okay that's about it from that side I'll just show you a little bit more on the converter and some little bits more information I'll just switch that TV out temporarily while we do that and switch this light back on Just a little bit of information on the video converter, just in case you get any problems. Make sure that the SCART input is selected, and if it says HDMI, press the SCART HD button until it says SCART. Once, you, once it picks up a signal, it will show it as PAL or NTSC. Um, you've got to make sure that these match your TV. So if you're seeing PAL here, then your TV must be set for PAL or, or, or compatible with PAL and vice versa if you're inputting an NTSC signal the TV or monitor must also be set to NT an NTSC if those are a mismatch you'll probably get a black and white picture or no picture the output resolution is set by the 720 1080p button my TV that I'm using at the moment is full HD so that's the correct resolution for that you'll need to press the button if yours isn't the same or your video converter isn't set for that until you get the right resolution that matches your screen the best. And then the PAL NTSC button um, just changes the output, although once it selects a signal, it, it locks in automatically. So in most cases, you won't need to touch that. Um, the RGB SCART lead is also compatible with these professional, more expensive video converters that are designed specifically for retro computers and games consoles. Um, they're a lot more advanced, uh, better picture, more expensive, but highly recommended for the more serious enthusiast that's got um, lots of computer or games consoles and wants to get the best quality picture out of them. That's the RetroTINK 5X. That's just about in focus. That's the OSSC, or Open Source Scan Converter which is my uh, personal favourite. I'll just uh, zoom that out a bit so we can see it better. That's version 1.7 with the uh, new moulded case. And the other one, which is also very good, is the RetroTINK 2x SCART. Uh, this is a ha an advanced um, high quality converter but it's very much plug and play. You've just got SCART in and HDMI out, but gives great quality pictures. Well, that's about it from me. I hope you uh, find this video useful. For more information, if you uh, click the links below the video, there's a document about this HDMI converter and more information about video conversion and video converters and where you can buy them, etc. So I hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, be back soon with more.